and now as an aside, while the field of GI is number one on our list, it was the bottom of my list when I was considering fellowships because I hate poop. But apparently a lot of people like it. Let's talk about competitiveness. In addition to the salary, which we'll get to in a second, this is what makes GI one of the most competitive specialties with the average match rate of 63.3%. I can easily say that I've unfortunately had many colleagues and friends or people that I've known who have not successfully matched a GI on their first try just because it's so competitive for the reasons that we talked about. In terms of length of training, GI fellowship typically happens to be three years, just like our cardiology colleagues. Now, in terms of salary and lifestyle, your average GI doc will probably make $450,000 plus. And again, this will depend a lot on how many procedures you do. While most GI doctors are very specialized in being able to do EGDs and colonoscopies and seeing patients as consults and in clinics, how much you do those procedures will definitely determine the amount of salary you're getting. There are a lot of GI docs who typically won't see a lot of patients in clinic, but they love doing procedures. And so they tend to go ahead and set themselves up for a higher salary just because they're doing more procedures.